The Wilds of Eldraine Commander decks that will be coming out have had their face commanders revealed. And I'm going to go over all four of them here. Alia, Cunning Conqueror, is Demir and 2 for a 2-4 Fairy Warlock with flying. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, create a 1-1 Black Fairy Rogue with flying. And whenever one or more fairies you control deal combat damage to a player, go target creature that player controls. So this is actually perfect for fairies. Fairies are great at getting chip damage because they're usually one ones with flying. They're mostly weak and pathetic, you know, like a fairy. But giving your fairies the ability to goad other creatures makes your opponent's big strong creatures start bonking into each other and actually let you get a lot of damage. And then you want to play some Demir Flash sort of Demir control aspects to this as well. Counter spells are really great here because you get those extra fairies. And then cantrips and just in general flash things are awesome. This reminds me of a few other flash style Demir commanders we've had in the past, but with a little fairy dust sprinkled in. I really, really like this commander and think that if you're looking to play either Demir Control or Fairy Tribal, this might be one of the best ones. The alternative commander in that same deck is Tegwil, Duke of Splendor. I really like that name, the Duke of Splendor, it's kind of fun. Demir and one for a 2-3 Fairy Noble with flying and death touch. Other fairies you control get plus one plus one. Whenever another fairy you control dies, draw a card and lose one life. So if you actually want to take your weak, pathetic fairies and make them slightly less weak and pathetic, then I suppose you could put this in the command zone. A lord in the command zone is nice and you do draw a card for your tribe members dying. So you could do a bit of a aristocrats type thing. Sadly, because he's a lord, it's actually kind of bad since you can't use skull clamp to kill all your fairies and draw a bunch of cards, which you could normally with all your one ones. This commander I think is kind of bad. It's definitely not the best Demir Aristocrats deck, and it's probably not the best fairy deck, because the one just before it is better. I'd really recommend this for in the 99. Moving on to the Selesnya commander deck. We've got Elivare of the Wild Court. Two green white for 4-4 four, four human knight. Whenever they enter the battlefield or attack, create a virtuous roll token attached to the target creature you control. So the rolls are essentially these token auras that you attach to a creature, and a creature can only have one roll on it, it destroys the other ones as soon as you put a new one on. Most of them are buffs, monster gives it plus one plus one in trample, royal gives it plus one plus one in ward one, you get the gist. There is the cursed roll, which gives the creature base power and toughness one one, that's the only negative one. And then this commander says, whenever an enchanted creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So this would be a pretty neat Selesnya Auras commander if Sithis didn't exist. Sithis Harvest Hand is just the most efficient Selesnya commander there realistically could be. Like, how do you make Sithis better? One hybrid mana? It just absolutely outclasses every other green-white enchantment deck that you could conceivably make. Now, that being said, if we have enough roll synergy in the set such that a roll is relevant, maybe you could build a roll deck as opposed to just an aura deck. Ultimately, this is a really fun commander that has sadly already been power crept out of the game. The other commander is Gilwain Casting Director. Green White 1 for 2 3 human bard. Whenever he enters the battlefield or another non token creature enters the battlefield, you get to choose one. Create a royal roll token, attach it to a creature, sorcerer roll token, attach it to a creature, or monster roll token and attach it to that creature. So he lets you put auras on these creatures to like buff them up. The problem is that you can only have one roll on each creature and he only puts it on the creature that entered, so it's just like a slight buff on all of your creatures. If you have a deck that really cares about having creatures with auras on it, I suppose it's not bad, you know, like the actual other main commander of this deck, but on his own, I don't know if I would put this in anything. I suppose you could go like a Selesnya Blink deck and then put the Royal Roll on a bunch of things to give them Ward 1, which is you know, okay protection. This card's just kind of too weak, in my opinion. I wouldn't really play him as the commander. In the 99 of an enchantment deck that cares about auras and stuff, maybe he's fine. Or maybe a roll deck? We really just gotta see how much roll support there is. 
So those are the four legendary creatures from the new commander set. What do you think of these? Are they any good? I really like the first Demir one, Elia. She seems awesome and like a ton of fun to brew around. The Selesnia ones, I'm a little iffy on. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below which one's your favorite, which ones you're excited to build around, and if you're going to be picking up these decks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.